Welcome to Khan Bio Education. Today we will learn about the chapter number one of BS Biology, Miller and Harley. Zoology is the combination of two Greek words, zoon meaning animal and logos mean to study. So zoology is the study of animals. In zoology more than 400,000 described species of beetles and more than 28,000 described species of bony fishes. One large family of bony fishes is cichlidae, which contain 2,000 to 3,000 species, and 4 to 10 species of animals are living today. Over 1 million of animals are described by the zoologist. Binomial nomenclature was given by Cornwall line and cichlid scale eaters scientific name is Perisodus microlepis. Students, you are not going in the depth detail of the term terms because this lecture is designed so as you can prepare or you can update your knowledge according to your exams point of view so as you can solve your any type of mcqs which is related to these terminologies if you see the population the more population is in the less developed countries than developed countries you can see here 5.4 billion population is in the less developed countries out of total 7.3 billion humans now living in the world by the year 2050 expected to surpass that of China 1.31 billion human and the total world population will reach 9.6 billion the 2010 US population was 160 million according to chapter number one there are some disciplines and sub disciplines of zoology like anatomy the study of structure of entire organisms and their parts and cytology is the study of structure and function of the cells the comparative study of the comparative genomic and bioinformatics the study of structure functions and evolution of the genetic composition of groups of animals using computer based computational methods now what is ecology? The study of interaction of organisms with their environment is ecology and the embryology is the study of development of animal from the fertilized egg to the birth or hatching. And genetics, the study of mechanism of transmission of traits from parents to the offspring. And histology is the study of tissues. Molecular biology, the study of subcellular details of structure and function. So don't be confused between the cytology and micro molecular biology because here we study the subcellular detail, detail of the structure and function, but in the cytology only the cellular details of the structure and functions are studied. Parasitology is the study of animals that live in or on other organisms at the expense of at the host. So in parasitology the animals are dependent to other organisms and physiology the study of functions of organisms and their parts. Here again we are studying the functions only but the functions of entire whole organisms are included in physiology. In systematics, the study of classification and the evolutionary interrelationships among the animal groups. Entomology, the study of insects and in herpetology, study the amphibians and reptiles. In ecology, the study of fishes and mammalogy, the study of mammals. And ornithology is the study of birds and protozoology, the study of protozoans. 
Now stick leaf. The scientific name is Cyanotilapia afra that is native to Lake Malawi in Africa. In exam, the question may be the, um, the cichlids are native to which lake? So you must memorize. Well, the Pantosa, the Siphon Tilapia Pantosa is native to Lake Tanganyika in Africa. Now, here is the classification and evolutionary relationships of the four species the housefly, the horsefly, and the human beings with cichlid fish. You can see here the Musca domestica and Tabinus opacus. These are more related than these two species of the Homo sapiens and the Parasodus microlepis because they are interrelated at kingdom level. So they are very far away. Like here, you can see in Musca domestica and Tabinus opacus. They are more related because they have the same order, but they are related at animalia kingdom level with these two groups. So these two species are more related than these two. But the Homo sapiens and the Parasodus microlepis, these are more related with each other than these two species. So the question may be asked in your exam that what is the relationship between two different species or which species are more related or they are more related in evolutionary point of view. So you must memorize this. Here are some assessment MCQs which you can solve. You will be capable to solve after this lecture. So if you know the answer, then please write in the comment box. Here six MCQs are mentioned. Please write the answer in comment box. If you have some problem, then also comment in the comment box. These MCQs are given just to assess your knowledge after this lecture. Thanks for watching.